on commitments to Ukraine, long-term security, long-term security to deter future aggression after this war ends is, is a goal. And we're advancing this goal by providing them the support Ukraine needs now on the battlefield and helping them strengthen uh, their military over the long term. The fact of the matter is that I believe we'll have the funding necessary to support Ukraine as long as it takes. And uh, I believe that uh, we're going to that, — that support will be real, even though there are — you hear some voices today on Capitol Hill about whether or not we should continue to support Ukraine and for how long we should support them. The fact of the matter is, I asked people a picture what would happen if we were not supporting Ukraine. Do we think Russia would stop in Kyiv? Do you think that's all there would be happening? Uh, I think not, and I think the vast majority of my colleagues, even the critics, uh, think that would not be the case as well. The UK is proud to be behind the US, the biggest contributor to the military effort in Ukraine. And I think it's right that other countries also step up and do their part. We're lucky to have America's investment in European security, but we need to share the burden alongside you, which is why defense spending in the UK has, has been above the 2% NATO benchmark. It's on an increasing trajectory, and we would encourage other countries to follow the lead that the US and, and the UK set, because our security is collective. And I agree with what the President said. It's about deterrence. President Putin will be thinking that he can wait us out, that the alliance will tire, will get fatigued, and will give up. Now, that is not the case. And the more we can put in place support for Ukraine, not just in the here and now, but support that will last for a time and for years to come, I think it sends a strong signal to him that there is no point trying to wait us out. We're not going anywhere. We will be here for as long as it takes. And hopefully that will speed up the calculation in his mind that he should withdraw his forces and stop what is an illegal and unprovoked act of aggression.